This is an extemporaneous video about the brigade system. Somebody asked me about it, and I wanted to just give my own personal opinion of it rather than doing a bunch of research and giving like a boring lecture on the on the overall structure. For those of you that don't know, Escoffier invented the brigade system, and it was because he was a military guy, right? He wanted a system that made a lot of sense, and he looked at the military structure and said, hey, that's cool, I'm gonna steal that. That's how we ended up with the brigade system. How is the brigade system actually broken down. Specifically, they asked me to talk about the French Laundry's Brigade system. So the way that that's broken down is actually pretty similar to how most kitchens are broken down to some degree. Let's start with the family restaurant like a Perkins Country Kitchen, Denny's, whatever. In corporate run restaurants, in rather than a chef patron or an executive chef, we have a kitchen manager, an assistant kitchen manager, and then we have things like production leads, then we have the line cooks, then we have the dishwashers. We don't usually have a porter in these kind of situations. That is a similar structure to a brigade system where you have a chef patron at the top, that would be Thomas Keller, and then you would have an executive chef and then underneath that, you have an executive sous chef, which usually fills in duties for the executive chef. The sous chef themselves, not the executive sous chef. The sous chef is more in charge of actually the managing of the employees. That's what I like to do. I've been an executive chef before. I'm probably never going to do it again until I actually own a restaurant because it is extremely stressful and there's not nearly as much cooking as you think there is. You get to do the menus, the pricing, and, and all of that kind of stuff, but you miss out on the the rush and the intensity if you're, if you're, like, I got into cooking because I like working with food, not because I like looking at a computer screen. Underneath the sous chef, you have chef de partie. The chef de partie is usually what we would refer to as a line cook, and the commie chef are typically like the apprentices. They work underneath them. They're usually the gophers, like go for the onions, go get it out of the walk-in, whatever. Uh, they are usually the ones that we uh, harass with demeaning and tedious chores. In Marco Pierre White's book, he actually talks about how like it was like his first week there, and one of the chef de partie or the line cooks had him take a bunch of uh, essentially what we'll just call it pork fat, but it was solidified, and he had to pass it through a sieve, but they didn't tell him that he needed to warm it up first. So he's over there with like this jelly, this like pork jelly essentially, and he's got this, like, either a whip or a, a rubber spat or whatever. He's trying to, like, force it through this sieve. And somebody came over and they were like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, they told me to do this, so I'm doing it. And he's like, fucking give it to me. And he puts it on the stove and whatever. Also, I want to clarify something. I say executive chef, but it's also chef de cuisine. So chef patron, chef de cuisine, or a cuisinaire, executive chef. It's all the same shit. The chef de partie is usually in charge of a specific station. That'll be like saute, grill, meat, fish, whatever. There's going to be whatever station names are associated with that place. Underneath them, you have the commie chef. So the, the chef de partie is kind of like a shift supervisor, uh, but they also have a specific uh, area that they know a lot. And then the porters are the people that clean up after everybody. They do, you know, they'll do the dishes, they'll restock lines, they'll go get stuff when, the, you know, they ask them to get things, etc. Usually you have an uh, executive chef, you have the owner of the restaurant, which would be the chef patron, but we'll just call him the owner. Then underneath that, you have executive chef, sous chef. You don't have an executive sous chef in a smaller operation. Underneath the sous chef, then you have line cooks, then you have dishwashers. That's pretty much like a standard, like what you'll get in most restaurants. Usually these line cooks will have a general knowledge of all of the dishes. There'll be rollout meetings where these things will be covered. They will have a specific expertise. So your fry guy or your grill guy will usually be running that station almost every night with the exception of maybe somebody calls out or somebody gets fired or whatever the case may be. Then you'll also have situations where somebody might need help on a station. So maybe you guys are doing buy one, get one burger night and burger stations getting killed and the saute guy has been stick standing there with his thumb up his ass all day. So he's going to go over on flat top and help out with burgers because this dude's getting fucking slammed, right? So you end up in situations like that where you, it, that's why it's good to actually know this kind of stuff. I love that system. I think it's a great system. I really don't like the idea of everybody just kind of being like, hey, here it is, have fun with the menu, whatever. Now, uh, it also helps with communication. So if something is wrong at the front of house and the front of house level, they come and they tell Inner Expo. Inner Expo talks to the Outer Expo and Outer Expo can talk to the specific cook. 
if you're just getting started on a journey to being a line cook and you want to know everything there is to know, you can start by subscribing to the channel. I actually have a playlist with a whole crap load of videos dedicated from everything from the lingo we use in the kitchen to the kitchen structure like you just saw, pretty much anything that you could think about. And I'm also extremely responsive in the comments if you have any questions. Check out one of these two videos that should be popping up on the screen right now. But otherwise, you guys have an awesome day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.